Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd Mayweather Jr. had titles in five different weight classes. This guy is known as the pound for pound best defensive fighter in the world and also the most accurate in punching. A deadly combination. Floyd Mayweather um, ended up in that career time, 50 fights and 50 wins. And 27 of them were by knockout. And this guy is 100 percent natural and the reason I stress that so much is to emphasize the fact that you do not need any kind of enhancements to be the best at what you do that's my whole purpose for stressing that the way I do you can take you and what God gave you and be the best in the world at what it is that you do without any help from science. Floyd Mayweather also made over a billion dollars over that career. A billion dollars of cash money. And this guy done it all by will and consistency in his workouts and a tremendous amount of skill with those hands. Now, a lot of people say that all Mayweather do is run around the ring and, 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 and try to keep from getting hit. I mean, I thought the whole purpose of boxing and fighting is for you to hit the other person and not for them to hit you. And then you get a lot of people saying that that's what he's doing. But he's doing what he getting paid to do, fight. And he's doing it well. Most of... Most of the ones that's talking like that, they did the same thing to uh, Roy Jones Jr. And Roy Jones made the mistake of going from uh, a uh, middleweight class to a heavyweight class. And even though he won that class, a smaller man getting hit by a bigger man, normally something going to break. And as you can see with him, something did break. He, he never did get himself back right. Leader in the counter puncher's war. There's a hard left hand by Antonio Carter. Jones tries to come back with a right to the body and a right upstairs and another right to the middle of the belly. You know, it's interesting. I'm watching Tava. He seems to still be giving Roy problems. Roy has not found a way still to get a sustained attack against him. And there it goes, Tom. But Floyd Mayweather Jr. is doing exactly what he's trained to do. Is not get hit, but hit the other person. That's the whole purpose of boxing. So you can say he's running around the ring, but what it is, is that once you become the best at what you at, the ones that normally cheer for you are normally the ones that turn on you. And those are the ones that want to see you get pretty much knocked on your behind. So that's why they want you to stand toe to toe so they can finally see you get knocked on your behind. And I like the fact that the guy pretty much do his own thing. He don't listen to people and uh, he, he people may call him arrogant or whatever. But this guy is doing all this stuff on his own. Nobody's going in the ring with him. He's in the ring on his own. He's doing what he has to do by himself. So if you call him arrogant, he may be arrogant. He may be that. But over a billion dollars say he got a reason to be a little arrogant because he earned what it is that he got. You take other boxers that's, in the, that's been in it for uh, way longer than he have, they, they have nothing to show for it. This guy apparently has to be pretty decent with money because he still have money even after his retirement, which most of boxers in the professional realm, they don't have anything once they finish. End up with brain damage. This guy came out close to 20 years of fighting and really wasn't damaged, really wasn't hurt at all. I think that's something to be bragging about. I think that's something to be bragging about. Floyd Mayweather Jr. If you say I'm not saying anything positive about somebody, I have done so in this video 
because this particular guy deserves kudos for his efforts at doing what he do naturally and by himself. That's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.